so hello everybody uh, so we are moving on to our fifth module of our computational physics course so we first looking to our syllabus okay so we have completed first second uh, third and fourth modules and in the second module one or two portion is left that i'll discuss so we are moving on to the fifth module that is uh, in this module we'll have to discuss um, first we'll discuss uh, what is the difference between the analytical method and uh, numerical method then we'll discuss uh, the accuracy considerations in numerical method followed by a freely falling body that is motion in one dimension and then uh, euler method for solving the freely falling body then fall of a body through a viscous medium followed by two dimensional motion that is projectile motion using euler method and planetary motion using rk method uh, then we'll consider the basic uh, simple harmonic motion using euler method and damped harmonic oscillator using feynman newton method then we'll discuss logistic mapping which is something that we have theory of which we have already discussed in your first sem then monte carlo simulation for determination of value of pi then how we are going to simulate radioactivity then how we are going to uh, solve a quantum mechanical problem that is particle in a box which is a one dimensional um, solving one dimensional stranger equation and obtaining the uh, eigen values and wave functions so these are the things that we are going to uh, discuss in in this last module hope it is clear uh, so i have sent you the notes already okay so we'll move on according to the notes that i have sent to you uh, basically uh, we are dealing with simulations in this chapter that is uh, uh, in the first chapter you discussed about core python that is all the functions uh, that is defined in the core python and in the next two chapters you discuss the packages that supports uh, in next chapter we you discuss the packages that, that support the core python from outside that is uh, numerical python and mathematical floating functions that is that you will have to install after installing the uh, core python of any version okay then uh, next uh, two chapters is numerical method that is uh, we are basically physics students for solving the problems in physics what we need some numerical method is to be incorporated in our program so how we are going to solve the problem numerically any sort of problem numerically is discussed in the uh, third and fourth module and in the fifth module we will discuss basic physics problem and we have incorporated this numerical method that you have discussed already in the uh, second and fourth uh, third and fourth modules into this fifth module and we have uh, used the python programming for that one that is numerical method plus python program uh, to study the uh, basic problems in physics okay and what we are doing is uh, basically the simulation and simulation in physics refers to the imitation of the behavior of physical systems that is temporal evaluation evolution or the time evolution of the uh, system okay and uh, there could be differential equation or something of this any sort okay uh, we, so what are the basically the, you go through the text that is written what are basically the steps involved in simulation okay first what we need is we need to identify a problem Uh, it could be uh, as an example you can take the uh, motion of ma masses and the mutual attraction it could be the planetary motion we can take as so we could we should identify or sort out any of these problems then what happens is that uh, what makes the motion possible in that problem what are the forces acting on the uh, bodies uh, in that problem uh, suppose you can if you, if it is the case of planetary motion we can assume that uh, each of the uh, of uh, i mean uh, particles in the sky is experienced by an inverse square law attractive force i can simply represent it as f is equal to k by r square when the k is a constant that is called an inverse square law force then next is that uh, we understood the force acting on the system first we identified the problem second we understood the force which is acting on the system and third we need need 
to know like the initial conditions if it is the uh, planetary motion that is if we are considering the case of earth moving around the sun means i need to know the initial position that is initial x0 y0 coordinates of earth the current uh, x y coordinates initial velocities current velocities acceleration time step etc should be understood or uh, should be should be known already and what happens is that now we have to identify the equations relating to relating different variables and in this case uh, in the case of this planetary motion i can take the x component of acceleration as a cos theta y component as a sin theta and i can substitute it as uh, ax is equal to what actually f is equal to uh, k by f is equal to uh, f is equal to m into acceleration and it is k by r square okay and i can write um, m uh, f is or i can write f is equal to uh, mm by r square g mm by r square and g is the gravitational constant m is the mass of the sun Uh, capital M is the mass of the Earth, uh, like that. We all are constants. It can put could be taken outside. And if I'm uh, writing a x is equal to a cos theta, I can write cos theta is equal to x coordinate. That is, if you're drawing it, uh, it will be clear to you if we discuss the problem. I can write x is equal to, um, I mean, cos theta is equal to x by r. Similarly, sin theta is equal to y by r. And here, what I've done is. I have substituted is uh, for a y a y is what a sin theta a sin th and sin theta is y by r that means the constant k by r square is already there into y by r that is k y by r cube and what is a x acceleration that is d square x by d t square so for that I can write k x by r cube. And a y is equal to d square y by d t square is equal to k y by r cube. That is cos theta is equal to x by r, sin theta is equal to y by r. Mm. Then how you will discuss? You you understood the uh, equations relating the various parameters that we have discussed. Then you can choose any of the method. Since it is a differential equation, I can choose any of the method like Runge-Kutta method, predictor character, uh, Euler method, etc. For solving. Mm, this differential equation and using Euler method that we have discussed already, b x is equal to b x zero plus a x b t and b y is equal to b y b y zero plus a y d t x is equal to x zero plus b x d t y equal to y zero plus b y d t etc. Now what we have to do is we have to solve this, uh, solve the equations for different values of the variables starting from initial values and in steps of proper size, uh, getting the Uh, new values. Again, okay, then uh, we'll uh, identify the present position, present x y coordinates, present velocity, etc. And we can print the output or we can visualize it using the graphs using this matplotlib. So, what is basically? So, the next question is, what is basically the difference between uh, numerical method and analytical method? And in Max itself, we already can solve any sort of problem analytically. And for solving some problems, we choose numerical method. So, where are the contexts that we are going to choose the numerical method? So, actually, which method is uh, the good one? Analytical method or numerical method? So, normally, this sort of questions arises. So, this gives you the answer to all your questions. Like, what is analytical method? Analytical method are the most rigorous and most commonly used methods which provides exact solution. Suppose we are we want to integrate x square, that is x cube by 3. It is an analytical method. Or differential of sin x is cos x is an analytical method. That is, it always gives an exact solution. But what happens is that if you are going to find the root of a quadratic equation, by analytical method, we are having an equation minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. And what happens if the equation becomes nonlinear? It is very difficult to find the root of a nonlinear equation. At that context, we have to find out some other method which gives us some sort of answer. So, that method is the numerical method. Analytical method 
is always a most commonly used method which gives the exact solution. It gives a fastest route than numerical method if we are not assisted with a PC or a uh, uh, laptop. And for analytical method, a solution is always readily available. And it always gives a uh, value in terms of variables. It always gives a solution in terms of variables like a differential of x square is 2x. So that is analytical method. An analytical method it gives always accurate result. One more thing is that it gives an exact solution which is an accurate result. For numerical method it gives only the approximate result. It is not the accurate result but it gives only the approximation. So a numerical solution means any guesses at the solution and testing whether the problem is solved well enough to stop. Numerical method has become popular with the development of the computing capabilities and it gives always, I have already mentioned it is very important, it gives only the approximate solution with sufficient accuracy and it is a very con time consuming process if done manually and there will be for any sort of problem we will we, we'll have one or another numerical solution always and our result will be always in the form of numbers like if you are doing this integration using trapezoidal or Simpson's rule. What you will get an answer? You will get an answer as a number. But if you are doing in the integration the other way, you will get some uh, in terms of some variables. Applying the limits, you get the numeral value. Here, directly you will get the uh, numerical answer. Okay. Uh, so, that is basically uh, the difference between numerical method and analytical method. And always we prefer analytical method in almost all the general and the simplified cases. It gives a faster, exact, uh, accurate result. And uh, but sometimes, uh, if there is no any other way out, we have to resort on numerical method. Uh, so, uh, so th this is the situation where we have to rely on the numerical method. Okay. So next we are going to discuss freely falling body using Euler method. So, a freely falling body is an object that is falling freely under the influence of gravity only. You are well familiar with the freely falling body. Only force which is acting on the freely falling body is assumed to be the force of gravity which is acting in the uh, downward direction and it is the y direction. Okay. So, uh, it is an ideal case and uh, the assumptions that we are making while discussing the freely falling body is that the freely falling objects do not <coughs> encounter any air resistance which is not practically possible and all freely falling objects on earth accelerated towards the earth at a rate of 9.8 meter per second. Okay and so now how you are going to solve a problem of a freely falling body using Euler method. Okay Euler method is a method that we have discussed in our uh, uh, before units uh, on numerical methods it is a method used for solving differential equation of first order and it is an initial value problem okay it is a one of the simplest of the Ranjikuta method if we know the uh, function value at any uh, nth term you can find the value of the function at n plus 1 position by the equation y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h into y prime of mm, at x okay y n plus 1 is the new value of y y n is the old value h is the sub size and y prime is the uh, slope at x these are all the things that you know already suppose we are going to evaluate a question question is of the form uh, give the equation given the equation uh, dy by dx is equal to 3x plus y square Evaluate y at x is equal to 1.1 uh, given y is equal to 1.0 y at 1.0 is equal to 1.2 h is equal to 0 0.04 that is we are given an equation dy by dx is equal to 3x uh, plus y square and what we have to do we have to find the value of y at x is equal to 1.1 given the value of y at x is equal to 1.0 is 1.2 and the step size is h is equal to 0 0.02 so that uh, we have to find out 1.12, 1.14, 1.16, 1.18 then 1.2 so we have to do 
uh, five iterations. So for discussing any of these problems, first what we need is the algorithm. So uh, we didn't discuss the algorithm so far. It is very easy. If we know the pro program, uh, if we know the structure of the program, the same is the algorithm too. If we know the structure of the program, the same is the algorithm too. So if you are doing uh, of your uh, it's like if you are having any questions uh, regarding the program in your exams first we have to write the algorithm and the weightage for the algorithm and the program will be equal and for your practicals also the weightage for the algorithm and program is the same so uh, algorithm is the simply replica of the program itself uh, so if you know the program well you can write the algorithm also Al algorithm is all basically the general one it is not specific for python so we we'll make some general statements only okay the first one is start for every algorithm it is mandatory mandatory to have a start a command and a stop 